Hold. All right then. All right, people. So, um, <clears throat> how it's looking at the moment? Let's go down to the four hour. So we are daily bearish on gold right now. On the four hour, we are four hour bearish as well. I just double checked that uh, earlier today, but I didn't want to start jumping in there because people take my word as like gospel sometimes. So I'm like, let me chill first. But this breaker structure here is um, a four hour supply that has formed basically from here to here. So in theory, we actually do have a supply here on the four hour chart. Price action is just consolidating. So we're still bearish on the daily and the four hour as it stands. Um, might let's go to the one hour quickly and just check something. Do, 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 do. On the one hour, we have a supply here. So this is, seems like what price action is holding based on this bullish candle here all the way up to this high. I like to cover the highs or the lows as well. Some people like to put their supplies like this, which you can see is still respecting this one candle here. But I like to bring mine further up just in case it decides to wick up a little bit up to there. So we're still more bearish, I would say, in terms of what it could do than actually bullish. Yeah, I know German 30 as well. Pikachu is almost done it. The first entry was actually a loser, though. So that will be counted as a loser. Really, based on um, I believe the chart I gave, that would be a winning trade. But the first entry was a loser. I have to go through. Neo, I haven't actually gone on to Neo today. I've been doing some other stuff. This is the first time I've actually got to my charts today. So I'll have to go through that later. But yeah, there's a one hour supply here, basically, which price action is reacting off of for the possible sell. So we have to see how it fares there. Then we have, if it breaks here, that'll be another one hour bearish break of structure there, right here, which is at 2030. We're looking at it could break. So we are currently still, again, bearish on the daily, bearish on the four hour. There is a four hour supply that was formed on gold in this area that is consolidating in now between uh, 2040 and 2024. Uh, but if we go down to the one hour, we can see there's a one hour supply here, which price action seems to be holding. So we are currently holding supplies right now. But of course, CPI can just... Uh, maneuver price to the upside now if we go back over to the daily chart on gold now we can see with gold if gold actually goes above this level here and closes above this level uh, which is 2042 if it closes above there with this daily bullish candle we will actually go daily bullish on gold and i'll be deleting all of this and looking for buys on gold going further up um now, of course, if um, we don't go up to there, so what I think might happen is CPI might go for a liquidity grab here and here. So it might do a quick liquidity grab and then pull itself all the way back down for continuations of sells. That's what I think could happen, but it doesn't mean that I'm looking to take a sell trade. I'm already in a sell trade. So I will either just take my loss if it starts going too high and then you know make some profits. I've already made profits from the two trades I've given out as complete trade ideas i even told people when to look for entries on the last two uh gold trades i did give out this week so um literally everybody should have made money if they've been following me this week if you if you didn't follow me from when i've been giving out the trades and they're not scalping trades there was like 12 to 24 hour intervals of when you could have had any opportunity to get into these trades so you know there was adequate time to get in these trades when i did give them out um yeah, if you haven't made money for that, sorry about that. But in the end of the day, I've made money so I can take X amount of a loss and just close my trade, which I have been holding partial profits from, uh, sorry, a partial position because I've taken partial profits from Tuesday, basically. So yeah, I think if anything, they might just go for a liquidity grab here. I don't think, we just need to know if they want to hold above this level here. So more than anything, we go to this is buy side liquidity by the way we've got buy side liquidity here and here so and this is the um basically this is the london high here of tuesday and this is uh the weekly high is here basically so they might want to go for a liqu uh, liquidity grab buy side to the weekly high and then pull it back down just to make sure they cover all of that obviously there is this ridiculous wick on the four hour 
but what could give us a sign that they might go bullish if they're deciding to do that and this is when i'll definitely have more i'll have more of an idea of closing my current sell position if we see price action on a four hour chart go uh close four hour uh where is it it's here in it yeah it's here if it closes four hour bullish above the possible daily break area then yeah i might be looking to um close this trade but obviously in the next how many minutes is it it's the next 40 minutes is the only way we'll know if it close four hour bullish so i think they're going to play around it's very smart what they're doing giving you cpi before the four hour candle closure because then you could be like scared, but they might actually just wick up and then close underneath these liquidity levels before the four hour candle closes. So you know, we just got to see how they play it. Basically they could do this is what I'm explaining. They could do this, something like that. So this was NFP Friday last week and you can see how they played it. They went down, then they went up, but then they brought it back down again. And then eventually they went down. So they might just do that. Do do. Anybody got any questions? Any questions? So that's gold. My analysis on gold is sells for now, but like I've said, it's 50-50. I've said that in the free Telegram group. It's 50-50. US Fa, I'll try and get to that one quickly. so us 30 is daily bullish right now this is what you've got here oh this isn't the best i know you, i think he was in a cell from before but it is is it daily bullish let's double check let's zoom in quickly 10 minutes and Yeah, it is. It's daily bullish. So US 30 is daily bullish because this candle is broken above this candle. Here's high. So it's actually daily bullish. So it's cool. Yeah, it's actually daily bullish at the moment. So we could see continuations of buyers on um on US 30. Realistically, it could actually continue to buy up further. Now, um, if you're going here, um, so JPY is our buyers right now, but I feel like they will continue to buy more next week than this week. So I don't know how much higher they will go this week, but we'll check that. Hold on one sec. What am I trying to do? I'm going to the wrong place. Boom. So you've got your daily demand here right now. There's your daily demand here. Sorry. And then you've got your four hour demand here. So it's actually daily bullish. So you have to be careful with this one. The sounds. And then you've got your four hour demand here. Boom. So right there, so price action literally could just bounce back down to here, which is, uh, boom, which is three seven five six six, and then you could get continuations of buys again. They already pushed it daily bullish this week, so it's highly unlikely that they're going to go daily bullish and then go daily bearish immediately after. So there's a stronger chance that they're going to continue to buy up today than there would be for the continuation of the sell, just because. They made the decision to go daily bullish within this week, which was pretty much yesterday. So there's a stronger chance they'll do that. But is this the all-time high? This is my only concern here. The only thing that would take that out of whack is, yeah, it is. It's an all-time high. Yeah, very risky trade. It's just risky, man. It's just all risky. This is why I've been sitting on my hands. It's at an all-time high right now. So the fact that it's at the all-time high, we've got eight minutes left. The fact that it's at the all-time high, um, is the only thing that could say CPI might just instantly reverse this trend. So now where I say the likelihood of them holding, uh, sorry, breaking the daily break of structure in the opposite direction, it changes now the viewpoint because we're at all time high. So they could literally just go for this liquidity grab up here again, which again is the all time high. 
and then they can just decide to start bringing it down with CPI. So, you know, everything is just, you just got to wait to see what happens. As well as you want to do analysis, we've got what, this is at an all-time high. Gold went to an all-time high before. Um, we've got US Tech, which is NAS 100, went to an all-time high. I believe SPX 500 went to an all-time high as well. German 30 was at an all-time high. So, yeah, you just got to be patient, really. Uh, JP Wise. There's a lot of JPYs and we only got seven minutes. So is there a specific JPY you want to look at? Or I wouldn't be able to go over all of them. So is there a specific JPY that you want to look at, my friend? Let me know. GJ, so GJ, you have a daily demand here. I'm going to be looking at buy continuations on these pairs from next week. So it never held this area. It kind of did actually. It sold down at the beginning of this week. It gave about 100 pips, but then maneuvered itself the other way. So now we've got a daily break of structure here. Boom. So we're more than likely going to see continuations of buys on GJ. Let's go down to the four hour chart and see what we see here. There's a demand. Okay, so we've only got a four hour demand here. We've actually gone four hour bearish on GJ. I'm expecting for it to pull back anyway, but there's a four hour demand here. Boom. So I think price action can sell down towards if it wants to. Uh 184, 1 1.7, sorry, dot one seven five. I think it can go down there and then pull back up. See for that, it's, it's just going to fly. If it just wants to fly, that's cool. But based on the daily and a four hour, uh, price action is too far away from a demand area for it. And this zone that I've got in here is a support resistance area. It's a resistance. So technically, it's in a consolidation zone. There's a better chance that it would do buys when it's above this area than when it's below. So I would be looking for buys on this pair from when it goes like above this area. And then like that, that's what I'd be looking for. But I'll be looking at that next week more than today. Unless it just, if it just breaks out, it breaks out. That's is what it is. I'd be waiting for it to pull back to this area and continue to buy. But yeah, it looks like it's going to buy. CFJPY is all the way in the moon. So I wouldn't even look at that if you're looking to buy it. It's at all time high as well. I wouldn't even, that's why I was telling other people as well. It's too far up. So there's no guidance on a take profit level of where it can go to. No real level of support. The best position you would have got was from like Tuesday this week or Wednesday. So I'm in, I've already taken that pair, but like I said, I already know it's too far up in the sky to really evaluate. What was you looking at, uh, Neville? Was you looking at continuations of buyers, I take it? That is too, too far up right now. Uh, USDJPY. Yeah, so we could see a continuation of buy on UJ. Because you can see it's going back to this zone. Do, 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 do. Let's get here. So USDJPY. Uh, we can expect it to go to, to hold this area here, which is 145.185. So you could see price action literally doing this off of this area. Something like this. Boom. And then a continuation of a buy trade up. So I'm only looking at continuations of a buy. And there is a daily. Um, yeah. There is a daily demand here as well. So it could literally go down towards this daily demand and then start to ricochet back up. So literally just a waiting game, people. Like this one, it's not in position. So you've got to wait for it to do something before. But I'm definitely saying continuations of buys on JPYs. Even going down to CFJPY's continuations of buys. But you just gotta be careful. Like I've said, CFJPY is too far up in the in the sky. So it was that all time high. You can see here. So there's nothing else there. There's nothing else there. So there's no actual structure. So if you're not already in the buy, and that's why I've marked my buy out from here, my support area that I found, boom. I got this buy up in here, boom. And then I got in from like around this area here, boom, for the continuation of the move. 
and it worked. It worked, people. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Entry was on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. I got in on Wednesday. Entry was on Wednesday for this. But now, like I said, unless it comes back to this area here, then now. Uh, yeah, you ain't looking. It could hold this area though here. Where is it? Uh, could hold this area here. There. So it could hold this area. So you're really looking to see if it will hold this area here. Long position. You'd be looking at something like that. This isn't a signal, by the way. It's not a signal. But yeah, you'd be looking at it to take it to whatever abyss it wants to go to. But you'd be looking at something like that, basically, for a buy trade, if you're trying to continue to buy it. But like I said, this is an extremely risky buy trade because you're literally trading an all-time high. Yeah, I got London entry as well. London entry on Wednesday. That's what I got in after the four-hour break of structure. Let's go to gold anyway. We've got CPI is about to drop now. Let's see if they're going for the liquidity grab. Mm -hmm. See if they're going for the liquidity grab. Yep, there you go. Look at that. Boom. You see? Look at the liquidity grab. You see the liquidity grab, people? You see it? The spread is wide and crazy. Let's see if it sticks up there, though. Oh, my MT4 showing it's still up there. So let's see if they're pulling it down. Yep, look at that reversal, people. Let's see anyway, it's still early days. Um, that's gold. So even the fact of catching that sell just there, I broke that all down to you live in the market, live all. But please, anybody still saying that I don't live trade? I don't want to hear it no more. Look at that. <laughs> Just explained exactly what it could do. So regardless of it keeps buying, you still could have caught a sold trade just based on those two liquidity areas. I said this one here is the NY high. This one here is the London, uh, sorry, the uh, weekly high, basically. And more than anything, they could go for a liquidity grab up into this area. But the fact that we've seen that it went four hour bearish as well. So we're looking at daily bearish, four hour bearish. And what we're seeing here is the sell trade. And if I post my trades now, Oh, guys and girls. If you want to join the signal service and you want to get your proper account traded and all this stuff, message me after the Zoom, please. Just message me. Like, I'm not going to tell you I'm going to win every single trade, but bloody hell, I don't know what else to do other than look at this, man. <laughs> look at this, bro. Look at it, people. But remember, that's just following the daily and the weekly, um, sorry, the daily and the four hour time frame. If you follow that time frame there, you'll see you'll be able to get in on your trade setups that you're looking at. Um, yeah, this is crazy. There you go. Money. So it looks like CPI wants to go bearish. So therefore, we should be seeing continuation of a bearish trend. Again, it's still only two minutes in. So they could literally ricochet back the other way. Um, Literally, but I'm going to close this position now. So then I've only got one other position open. And then just to show you guys and girls, I had this pending order for this sell trade on gold at this high. And there you go. So if you look in the free group now, you'll see I just post posted it it's already there mate it was already there grant you can see they went for the liquidity here so i'm not sure when you joined or how you joined but like as in what time 
I was literally already there. I ran through. I, I jumped on this soon to um, Zoom about 15 to 20 minutes before. And I explained the full analysis on gold. Obviously, when you watch it back, when I add it to YouTube, you'll see. So it's still early days. It could still reverse. But hey, you could just see the profits I made from that trade just there that I've posted in the free Telegram group. Uh, I posted in Discord as well. So I closed my treat of Tuesday position. I had a sell limit there. And then boom. So we've got this one here. And again, we just need to see what they want to do. So you know exactly where it went to, just to show you how reactive this area is. If we go to the daily chart. We'll go here. Go to the daily chart. See exactly where it went to. So this is why I said you want to be careful. So see where they still might close daily bullish, but you can see how it rejected off this area because obviously it's still early in the day. So they've rejected off this area here and then boom, now they want to push it back down by the looks of it. There's still other, is there other news? I think there's another news event. It's like all of them. Yeah, they're still fed barking speech in four hours so that's at five o'clock then there's the monthly budget statement at seven o'clock this is uk time and then well that's that's pretty much tomorrow yeah so there's still two more news events but they're my um they're medium impact unless there's like I've, i only use high impact i don't use but well, let's go check here because i've got them all on here Yeah, today there's no other major newest USD news. There's only these ones here and this CAD news. And this is all JPY. So jobless claims is next um tomorrow, not next week. And PPI, I believe. No, so only tomorrow there's PPI. So PPI, if we go daily bearish today, then PPI should be the continuation of this bearish trend tomorrow. So we'll see how that plays out. We'll see how that plays out. Was that okay? That was that. We will see how that plays out. Yeah. There you go. All right. Cool. That's gold anyway. So we've seen how gold is. Again, we got the liquidity grab, the possible sell continuation. We just have to see. What would I do? What would be nice is if the four hour candle closes below these this low here. So notice how it went exactly to this area and is rejected. This is where a four hour bearish break of structure would happen, meaning this would become a new supply here. There'd be a new supply based on this candle here. Going up to this high though, there'd be a new supply, four hour supply, basically. You can either make it this big or you can make it just this bullish candle here. It's up to you how you do it. Let's see how price is reacting because if the supply is forming, then technically we want it to stay within this area of gold. We don't want it to close above here. We want it to realistically stay within this area and stay down. So we'd have to see how it's reacting. And this is a four hour chart right now. But yeah, it's just simple as that. They went for the liquidity high. Boom. Pulled it back down. All right, cool. Let's go and check some other pairs quickly to see what they've done. Travis, are you in here, mate? Because if you if you're not here, Travis, you asked me to do this Zoom, and if you're not here, as that's cheeky, mate. That's cheeky. Where are you, Travis? <laughs> Where are you at? Where are you hiding, mate? <laughs> all right. So let's just go check all the pairs quickly. Let's go to the daily time frame. So this is literally what I would do. People ask me a lot of the times, like, what would you do to check your chart? So I can, I know CPI is hit. The first thing I'll do is I'll literally just go through every single pair in the market and I'll just go through them one by one and I'll just check to see. 
our price action has moved. Might be a bit slow. The loading. This is what I'll do. So JPYs look like they want to hold their their position. That's good. So my first idea of the sell was right, but then now I know they're changing it. Let's see. So it's still holding within this song. So next week I'll be looking at buys on uh AD JPY. Most of the JPYs, but I wanted to next week I wanted to come above here, pull back to here, and then continue to buy like that. So I'll be looking at taking that something like that on a proper account for buy continuations. It's J A D New Zealand. Did it continue to sell? It's kind of just lingering around here. So this one was correct. It's holding that area. Do, 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 do. AD USD. Looks like they wanna they wanna sell for gold is selling, then I take it these wanna sell as well. So nothing major on AU. Let's see what Bitcoin did if it shot up. Oh, Bitcoin's still hanging in this area. Literally still hanging around there. Right now. Crazy. Oh, yeah, nothing too crazy. It's happened on CPI with um a lot of pairs. It seems like it only it was spike on gold. Yep, it looks like the JPOIs want to continue to go bullish. Which is great. Okay, this one's pulling back. Let's see how it looks on this song. Uh, there you go. So far, it seems like it's holding this area here. Okay, Dixie is not really doing anything right now. Dixie's not doing anything. Let's just go and check these indexes quickly. See what they've done. Ooh, profits. Yep, we're in profits. Look at this one. I was right. Yep, I was right. Knew it. So, I said this in my gold VIP area, that we could possibly see sell continuations with CPI on these because we are at all-time highs, obviously. So this one here is not daily bear uh, bullish, it's daily bearish based on the break of structure here. Boom. And then you've got your supply area here and this is all it did. It just went back to the daily supply right there. And, and then you got the trade set up. So here you go. Here's another one, look at this now, people. So this is my other account. I just took CFJPY in here as well. I'll post it in a free telegram now. So that is my gold trading account. And this is my other account here. There you go. So that's the DAX. And that is um, US 30 and US tech, which I was discussing, could possibly reverse as well. Do, 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 do. And JAMA So this is German 30. I have marked out. As you can see, I've got my area. Boom, boom, boom. Price action has broke down. Pull back to this area. 
Got my first sell trade here. Even gotten more positions here yesterday. Never closed these ones. They went into drawdown, but they came back into my target area here. And then, boom, managed to catch me sell trade. And that's what I'm currently in. And you can see the position floating right now. But what I'm going to do is close some of this trade because... Yeah, second people. I need to close some of this trade. Cool. Yep. Okay, that's thirty. Uh, did it go for liquidity? Yeah, it did. You see, it went back up to the all-time high again. Can you see? So this is why I said that I don't know if it will continue to buy because this is exactly what they did. They just went straight to the all-time high. Boom. Took out this liquidity one more time. And now this could be the re the reversal so they could sell it. So even though it's got a daily demand, like I said, and it's a daily break of structure bullish, it's at an all-time high. So this could be, you know, CPI. And it seems like that's what they're setting in trend. They could be reversing it. So now, if we were just to remove this, let's just say, from here to here. If we're just to remove this from here to here, let's go. If we move it from here to here, let me show you. there so if they break this one with a daily bearish candle this level down here then we're looking at a continuation of um sell trades so i think that's what will personally happen but you just gotta wait for it to play out it's still early in the year i think that's what they're gonna do i don't know if they're gonna still continue to buy out but it seems like they're gonna pull it back a little bit i mean let's go to a weekly and see if there's any wicks left here i mean there's a lot of imbalances there's a huge weekly imbalance here that they have to cover at some point so it might want to come and clear this and then pull back that's what you could be seeing with price action btc etf again at do you mean they begin at 3 p.m. as in their move, or would you mean in what sense? No, oh, no. Oh, they begin at 3 p.m. Oh. Yeah, possibly so. Let's see. Yep, still holding this area. That's told you so far. Got 15 more minutes before the four-hour candle closes. So we have broken 15-minute bearish structure. On gold. So you literally are in 15-minute bearish structure with CPI, just to let you know. Here, it's broken 15-minute bearish structure right here. Boom. So you are on the daily chart bearish, you're on the four hour chart bearish, and you're bearish on the 15 minute chart so far. I don't think the 30 minute has. Yeah, the 30 minute chart's gone bearish as well. That's a good sign for sales. Uh, one hour chart. One hour chart hasn't gone bearish yet again, but it might do when it breaks these lows here. So right now for sales, it looks like there's sales that are still going to be kicking in on gold. On the 30 minute chart, we pulled back to the 30 minute supply as well with CPI. Well, no, we haven't pulled back on a 15 minute chart. Let's check. On a 15 minute chart, you had a 15 minute supply here. Okay, so it never actually managed to hit the 15 minute supply. Let's go check a five minute quickly. The five minute supply was touched, which was here. So this is what we're seeing gold holding right now is this five minute supply. 
So the five minutes bearish, the 15 minutes bearish, uh, the 30 minutes bearish, the one hour is still bullish at the moment. Is it bullish or bearish? Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's bullish. Yeah, the one hour is still bullish as it stands, uh, but the four hour is bearish. The four hours bearish from the breakdown here. But the four hours still bearish. Let's close this because this is in the way. The four hours still bearish. The daily is bearish as well. So the only time frame that's really out right now from the daily going down, well, obviously the one minute might be different, but we can exclude that for now, is literally the from the five minute, 15, 30 minute, um, the one hour is the only one out of sync. So once this, if this one hour also goes bearish as well, and we should be seeing a very strong chance in the next 18 minutes, well, 12 minutes, if gold is going to stay bearish, which you can see how it's reacting to this area right here. So it's literally reacting. So if it goes, then this becomes a one hour supply here. So you can see it's pushing right now, but yeah. So it seems like it's holding there. And remember what I told you from the four hour? I said that ideally for this to become a new supply, you want it to hold this area here with this candle. So this can become a new four hour supply if it breaks this low down here as well. So hold on a second. Yeah, so it's breaking the one hour low. If it breaks that low down there and stays down there, then it'd be breaking the four hour low as well. So if it breaks down here. So we've got a one hour supply here, a four hour supply here, and this is a one hour supply as well up here. But we can get rid of this one because we already know we don't need that one there. Let's pay attention to closer price action. Get rid of this. So right now we can see that here is a um, one hour supply if price action basically breaks this low here based on this bearish candle. Price action breaks this low. And then we've got a one hour supply. If price action breaks this low down here, then we're on the four hour, then we've got a four hour supply, which is this area here. So that's what it looks like. It might be four minutes of four hour supply because obviously the order has to be placed, put into place. And exactly what I explained is this wick that they could do as well <laughs> to the T. So they really wick up here and then wick down. And this is why you've got to be patient because we didn't know with that wick if they wanted to go bullish daily or bearish. But if they do continue to keep it down like this, then we're going to continue to go daily bearish. Meaning we're going to have more possible sell trades going down, eventually. So if they break this low here, now this is the next low. So they could even be forming a daily supply from this move that it's doing now. If they break this low here, boom. Then, no, sorry, not this low. It'll be this low here. If they break this low here, which is the target low, they close daily bearish below here with a candle. So if this candle closes daily bearish, boom, like that, then um, we're going to have another supply based on this candle here. So right now, our supply is on this big, huge candle, but then we'll have another supply here. So price action can literally... From tomorrow, if it does go daily bearish, it can go down here, pull back up, and then continue to sell back down, basically. So, we could do something like that. So this is where the supply candle would be. It would be this one here. So, it could literally do that, and we could catch the continuation down here, people. Good idea to enter at the H1 supply. Yeah. Let's go back to the one-hour chart. I mean, I don't see it going all the way back up here personally, especially if in the next eight minutes it closes. If it breaks a one-hour structure, I don't see it going all the way back up here. I see it holding this one-hour supply area here. And then also, it no, well, it won't close four-hour, but this one won't be a supply just yet. But this area here will be a supply. So I can see it holding this area like that. Personally, I can see it doing this. So 
well. You would have a sell trade set up like this, short, boom, something like that. Give it a bit of breathing room, and then you'll be taking it to here or to here. That's it. CPI tends to do these these spike and then you know just go and keep going. If you want to be really safe, you put out the liquidity high of this and then you take it to that second level. Then you've got a four R trade. If you want to be really safe, you take it like that. That's what you do. So you take your trade just like that, or you could take it like this. Depends on how it closes in the next seven minutes. It can, wherever it closes, boom, boom, boom. But yeah, if you're taking it from the supply, you could put it like that, or you can try and make as much risk to reward as possible and take it like this, <laughs> like that. It's, the choice is yours. Obviously, this gives you a 16R trade. Yeah. I don't know if you're still here, Naylor. Can you see that uh, gem of 30, what it's doing now? You should be in profits, I'll take it, if you're in that, Naylor, if you was in that one. Yep, no problem. All you have to do is believe <laughs> 2024 is going to be good. No problem. It's going to be good 2024. So yeah, guys and girls, if you want to get into any of my services, please let me know. Message me now. I have a... Um, where are we? Boom, 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 boom here. So I've got a trade copying service. You can start with $100 in the account or £100 could be pounds or dollars but uh personally it's better to start with more money because the more money you start with the easier it is because i could just say uh request a withdrawal which will do 50 50 splits on this trade copying so you'll bang it up to my trade copier and we'll do splits i'll take the trades like that um it is 50 gbp for the trade copying slot um, but of course i'm looking to make the profits eventually come out of the profits of what we're doing but at first you pay 50 GBP up front. Um, and yeah, basically, the more you start with, the better it is for you. Now, I'm, I said I'm going to be starting it next week because I'm taking trades next week, but I started it from the first day I mentioned it. So right now, I haven't started. Um, I haven't taken no trades. It doesn't mean I haven't started. I just haven't taken no trades. That's all it is. Literally next week, I might not take a trade. If the market doesn't look good, I might not take a trade next week. I'm literally not caring this year. What anyone says, if it doesn't look good to me, I'm not touching the market. Don't care. Don't care how FOMO'd anybody is. Um, yeah, the next month will be like that as well. But I haven't even started with the 50 GBP right now. I've just racked up the 50 GBPs. I haven't even started it. So you still have to pay it, but I haven't started it. You don't have to worry. I've got a group where I've talked to you all in there, so you don't have to worry. Trust me, I'm not, I'm not a bad guy. Don't worry about... If you're worried about the 50 GBP, I don't think the service would be for you. I'm not saying that that's what you are worried about, but if anyone is worried about the 50 GBP, it's not for you. You've got to have a no care attitude because we're here to either flip money or we're not going to flip money. And that's what it is in that account. Guys, it's, it's hyper growth. I'm not trying to scale your account by 5% a week or anything. I'm going full to the wall, to the wall and back. <laughs> so if you're not looking for that money to either go sky high or disappear, don't even dream of it. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't even dream of it. That's what it is. If you want to do a more sensible version of trading, then you need to get yourself a prop account. And that one I take my time with. That's um what you can see here, basically, which is here. And like I've broke it all down to people. So it could take like three to nine months for me to pass sensible trading. I'm trying to make half a percent to 1% per winning trade that I get. So I'm not trying to, you know, pass these 100 or 200k accounts in one second. You can literally do that. And that one's a 100 GBP up front fee. 
and then I'll trade the account for free to nine months is when I'm looking to pass. It might go over nine months, but hey, as long as I don't blow the account, we eventually pass. You've got no issues. Again, you're not doing nothing here, people. You're not doing I'm doing all the work. <laughs> so when I'm not sleeping, holding these trades and making sure they're not doing anything crazy, you guys could be sleeping in your pillow, you know, drool coming out the mouth and everything. So <laughs> just <laughs> if you're on it, you're on it. If you're not, you're not. Uh, just trying to understand this is the payment works. Yeah, but that's how it is. The 50 GBP is for your social trading slot. Like I said, right now, I haven't even connected any account to social traders, so no one's being charged right now. The money's just sitting there waiting for you when I am being ready to charge. Uh, sorry, when I am being ready to add you all to the social trader. But I haven't taken a trade, so there's no need for me to add it to social trader. I know where my trades are coming in. That's what it is. My trades don't just disappear. Out, uh, they don't just appear out of thin air. I literally know. Uh, will VIP also be a part? What's that? Paying the 50 GBP? Yeah, everybody will pay the 50 GBP. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's first, it's social trading. It's nothing to do with VIP. That's not me. It's a VIP. 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 Yeah, um, it's nothing to do with um, what do you call it? VIP, the the social trader. It's a complete different kettle of fish, mate. CCC, what's that? CC payment would be active soon for fifty GBP. Uh, what do you mean CC payment? Just so I know. Oh, credit card. Sorry. Um, I don't believe so. Maybe soon. <laughs> but I can't tell you straight away. No, you go, you open your own account. It can't go to me. If it went to me, that'd be crazy. My tax would be going through the roof, mate. <laughs> if I had all of those accounts and I was withdrawing it, my account would go through the roof. Um, I'll definitely look to sort that out this year. I know I've said it a few times, H, but I'll sort it out this year for um, the website to get sorted and everything. This is part of the reason why I'm doing all of this because, you know, as much as I'm trying to help and everything, I'm trying to make sure that, you know, I'm creating services that can grow, you know, the business. And me being able to do things like this, it will grow the business more. So people want stuff like that from me. But at the same time, if I'm always offering what I would like to say, I'm just going to be real with everyone. If I'm offering chicken change for services, how am I supposed to grow a business? That's just the reality of it. You know what I mean? Like you're never going to grow a business to a new, you know, let's say where, let's say you go from an office to a bigger, you know, two room office to a warehouse. You're never going to be able to grow it. If you're always charging chicken change for everything is what I've said, <laughs> or you're trying to give away everything for free. So as much as people want me to help, again, it's not aimed at you. This is just for everyone to understand. You've got to charge, man. <laughs> You've got to do something. You get what I mean? If I'm putting in the time, I think I should be able to get the, the workout on the other end. As you can see, I just literally came on now. This is free of charge. And anyone was able to look at that gold trade. Let's go check gold quickly anyway. Yep, gold is closed one hour bearish. So there you go. You're looking at continuations of sales, basically. Long story short. You're literally looking at continuations of sales. It's either you wait for it to come back to the supply and sell, or you just sell from now. And then you lower your risk and you've got two entries. So you've got a seven R trade set up from here down towards this take profit level here, or you've got um, a 3.25 R trade set up above the CPI high. But it looks like gold has got so much more of a stronger chance of selling now because we've waited for CPI. CPI is locked in the higher the week as well. This was locking in the higher the week. They went for a liquidity grab. Um, sorry, now the higher the week's actually here. So it never went actually to the highest point. It locked in from yesterday's high, my bad. So not yesterday, Tuesday's high. So it went from Tuesday's high, boom, locked it in. And it looks like it will continue to possibly sell from here now. So if you're still in the sell trade, yes. If you want to get in the sell trade, you can get in it. Um, yeah, for a continuation of a sell. With this type of movement, I can't imagine them going all the way back up. And there's no other impact news. So, yeah, we just got to take it for what it is, people. If it does lose, it loses. But I feel like there's at least a 7 to 8 out of 10 chance they're going to continue this trade going down bearish based on how the market's looking and how structures formed. So it literally looks like here's the lower high. Let me go over to NEO now, people, just to show you this as well now. 
Uh, give me a second. Do, 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 do. US 30 is melting if you're still in that K. If you're in that, you look like US 30 is melting. Give me a second, people. Just going to go over to Neo now. So now you can see how I've said with Neo as well, if you're watching it. I did this in the um, the free area in Telegram the other day. There was a weak uh, resistance level here, basically. But you can see this is why I explained. All you're looking for from the Zoom call I did on Monday or Tuesday, I think it was Monday, I explained that you're just waiting for price action to create lower highs and higher lows. Everything on Neo has been created to be able to show you that. And even the next update, Pardon me, which will be Neo V4. This is obviously 3.2, is going to give you a better idea. So on Neo V4, you'd have been able to see that this area, like between here and here, is a target area to look for a lower high continuation sell um, for this trade setup. So you would have been able to look for this trade setup here and catch this one. You can see how this one went exactly to this rejection level that was already there from the start of the week. And we had a straight sell from there. Then again, you can see our price action just went to this next rejection area and then sold. So you'd have been able to see this. And then what was there before was a, uh, it was a purple one, but there was a weak resistance area. So it's literally telling you that as price action pulls back from this daily break of structure, you're looking at a lower high re-entry sell that should form either here or here. Like with this product, Neo, you don't have to do much. I really don't understand that. Like a lot of people probably not realizing how powerful this thing is. And all it is, is just amazing me as time goes on. I'm just literally seeing more and more. And I'm just like, oh, wow, this is crazy. I didn't even mean to do that, but yeah. And then when I see it doing something even better, then I'm like, okay, I can hone in on that. And that's why I'm trying to make the support and resistance areas that would be able to pinpoint right there for you. So um, even if we go over to, you can even see Neil's telling us the trend is bearish as well. So this is what you're seeing here, as you can see. Um, do, 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 do. If we go over to gold on Neo right here, boom. Again, if I'm lying, I'm flying. So you see what it did now in the four hour. So this four hour week level wasn't here before, wasn't here before. But as price kept moving, it went there. So where was our first entry? Because it wasn't there before. We had to go down to a lower time frame to look for something. You see, on the one hour, there was a verified level here for the sell continuation yesterday. Now, let's go and try and find where this area was for this one. So if we go to the 30-minute chart, let's see. Um, no, it wasn't there. Let's go to the 15-minute chart. Okay, it wasn't on that one. Was it on that one? It wasn't on that one. Let's go to the five-minute chart and see how it looked. It's melting. It's melting, people. So right now it looks like there was only one from the, it's pretty much the same area. So you had a chance to get in anyway. There was no issue with that. So the pullback we was looking at was if price action would go back to, where was it? There was, let's go to the four hour and start there to make it make sense. So when you was at gold this week and you was looking for a continuation of a sell, uh, yeah, we was expecting it to either go back to this one here. As you can see, there's a purple area here. It's just a dark purple. Um, That's why I bought we was expecting it to go between here and here for a possible pullback or this level up here for a possible pullback and a sell. Now, what's happened, you can clearly see, is price action managed to formulate an area in between here. And then when we had this one break away from here once, this would have been an area on here as a weak level or untested resistance area. Now, when we go to the four hour, we can see that here obviously was a weak level here. So when price action literally sold from here down, this was telling you that, hey, the lower high could form right in here. And this is what we're seeing. Even with CPI news, price action never broke. This indicator, yes, people, this indicator area to tell you for a continuation of a sell and a lower high can form in this area. And this is exactly what we're seeing right now with price action continuing to sell. Literally there. Let's go to the daily. There, think on the daily. So yeah. Boom. If we switch on, uh, is the daily rejections on? They are on the thing. Yeah, they are. 
So yeah, nothing there so far. But yeah. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Uh, let's go here. Oh, this dashboard is lighting up, boy. Look at this. So, it's ADJPY, EuroJPY, pull back. So, in theory, this is a EuroJPY. You can see strategy two here. So, right now, this is why we're definitely going to be looking at buy continuations on like EuroJPY. So, you can even see, let's go to CAD JPY first, see if we see it. So, look here, CAD JPY, you can see. Daily break of structure, four hour turn cult, patience. We just had to wait to now. There hasn't been a lot of breakouts recently, but now you can see them. You can see four hour turn cult. So technically you'd put your entry here, your stop loss below here, and you'd be looking at continuations of buys basically. Um, you'd be going for a one to one or a one to two. So if your stop loss is 32 pips, you'd be going for 64 pips up there. Then you can also see if we go over to another bullish pair, Euro JPY. This is what I'm looking at buys. You can already see that you would have had a buy stop here. Your stop loss would have been 60 pips and price action has done at least one to one already, giving you a winning trade set up like this. Boom. And then now you'd expect it to break uh, possibly this level here. So this might turn into a verified resistance and then it might go down and then break up later on. So, but yeah, you can see how the play happens. You can see daily break of structure, turn coat level, and then boom. And you can see the trend is bullish. This is how you can see it live in the market, people, how strategy two works for you as well. Um, Let's go to GBP Ord. So GBP Ord did do a buy trade setup from here. It more than likely is daily bullish. This is another thing getting sorted out in the update, internal breaks of structure which is here. There was a break of structure here. So this one needs to get marked out. So boom. So we did have a break of structure there and a pullback and a continuation. That was a 300 pip trade. Let's go to the four hour and see how it was after that break of structure. Yeah. Um, this zone has become bigger. This zone probably could have been smaller. But look at that though. That was a nice 300 pip trade from, was it last week? Yeah, it would have been last week to this week. Yeah, nice period. Yeah. Do 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 GBP CAD still kind of just lingering this pair. Let's go to GJ. It's not turning bullish yet. You naughty naughty. Naughty naughty, but it did do its buys though. I believe um Nick, there was a guy in the chat that did say this one, but look, daily bull uh bullish break of structure. Four hour turn call. You can even see from here as well, which was last week. So it's done it twice. The type of setup daily bullish break, four hour turn call, 190 pip trade. And then it did it here again. And you can see the continuation. So this one has done almost one to one right now. It's the same thing, people. Very simple to set up with this. Very, very simple, guys and girls. It's not hard. It's DJPY, hasn't done it yet. So when it breaks this area here, this will become a turn coat level. And you'll be here. Uh, JPY's have got some big stop losses though. So you'd have 120 pips stop loss and you'd be going for 240 pips for one to two or you'd be going for 120 pips one to one. Like that, something like that. So it could go to this area here and then start pulling back. But yeah, anybody got any questions based on what I'm talking about now or any other things like that, you know? Any other questions, people? Just wanted to check Neo real quick. Any questions? Any pairs they want me to check? Let me know. verification for salmon gold <laughs> the, sal the salmon gold yeah. <laughs> the stop loss for gold is completely up to you if you're in a sell trade setup the safest one is above this wick here which is um, a bigger stop loss I don't have a stop loss on my trade I just don't trade with stop loss my entry is actually here 
literally. This is where my, my better entry is right now. It's up there. I just put a sell limit up there because I was like, see if we're going to go for this liquidity here or there. So I now think my sell limit's even here, actually, tell a lie. It's just below this level because I thought they would go for this, which I suspected right. Um, so yeah, you should you could put your stop loss above this level here, which is to 2045.4. Or you could put it above this level here, but you could get stopped out if it wants to go a bit higher because there's a wick there, as you can see. You could put your stop loss just like this, which would be 2036.125. So you could put it there. Completely up to you, but they could decide to come back up, go for a bit of this wick, pull back down. They could literally do a zigzag pattern. We don't know. Doesn't mean they're going to completely melt it straight away. So your safer stop loss is lowering your risk, putting it up here and taking a smaller risk to reward, which is 3.3 .3, all the way down to this level down here, hopefully. Could do that. Pardon me. This chart is posted in um, Discord and it is posted in Telegram, by the way, for every single person. So in Discord, you can see it's posted over here. So you can see the same chart is posted here with the take profit levels, literally. So it's posted since the 8th of Jan. It's been in there. And it's that I've shown people the trade set up. So, and all it's done is just respected this same area, literally. It's respected the same area three times. One, two, three. And then continuations of sales. No worries, mate. So everything all good? Oil, you said, yeah. I think oil is trying to reverse. No. Um. Yes, it's daily bearish, but if it does close here, then it goes daily bullish if it breaks this level. So it could be trying to go daily bullish right now. So when it goes daily bullish, you would be looking at price action pulling back towards this demand. So you want it to go up, pull back to this demand, and then continue to go up, basically. I think it's trying to reverse right now. Because if you see here, it's, it seems to have created a, low, a higher low. Yeah. Seems like it's creating an uptrend. So you want it to go daily bullish, break up a little bit, pull back to this daily demand and then buy up. Or if you go to the four hour chart, look for the four hour demand. Four hour demand would be here. So it might just pull back to here and then breaks up. It could go further and pull back to here. Let's just say it does break out. This is where your four hour demand candle would be. This last green one here. See? So it could literally go up, pull back to this top bit and buy, or pull back to this area here and buy from there. Yeah, it probably is reversing because of the wick. <laughs> you got to remember, people, you're trading news. So whatever gold is doing, and this isn't what you call reversing as well. This isn't really that bad. So it's, it's really up to you what you do. You can see the push is doing now. So this is what I said. You gotta be willing to, yeah. You gotta be willing to either hold it or not. So you are trading news, people. Ah, uh, so here's what you want to do. You could either hold it and take your loss if it goes up there, or you can hold it and it wins. It's what it is. You are trading news. That's no problem at all. Yeah, I'm going to state it again in here. I've already made money on gold. And I've said this to everyone as well. If you're not in my free group and you have joined here, I don't know, maybe if you joined from somewhere else, you need to join the free group because this trade here that went down here, which was literally from here to here, this was 130 pips. I gave that out on Tuesday. Then when it got up here again, we got this one here from the same area, which was 100 and... Let's just measure it to here, 160 pips. So that's already 300 pips was able to make on gold. Then this sell trade that did come up here as well, I told everyone it's probably going to this liquidity area. 
So if you didn't get in as it got to that liquidity area, look, that was another 150 pips. So that's like, how much pips? That's like almost 500 pips there, 450 to 500 pips that anyone could have made off of gold. So anybody that's just getting in right now, and let's say this trade goes on to lose, I'm sorry, but what more do you want me to do for you? You know, like that. Like, that was like 500 pips of giving away almost on gold this week. I don't know what else to do. You know what I mean, people? I don't know. Like, if you're getting it just there, I don't know, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, seriously. Like, you know, I can't always basically make a trade for when you need that trade is what I'm trying to tell you, basically. Uh, if you didn't get in from when I was trading, then uh, I'm sorry. But I tell people from before, join the the free, it's not paid, join the free group. You understand? So you can see the trades. And my trades are not based on scalping. So they're not going to come in every five seconds or every session every day. They're literally going to be, you know, trades you're going to... I've been holding a trade since Tuesday, is what I'm trying to tell you. You understand? So, yeah, you've got to be in it to win it. So anybody else you want to join the group or anything like that, let them join the group. There's going to be more of these, I'm telling you. So if you're not if you're not in that free area minimum, I don't know what else to say. You've got to be in there. I tell people because you've got to get in at the you know the better times, and the better times was you know from Tuesday Wednesday, so you could have made money. So and like I've said, that same thing where people say gold is reversing, it's not really reversing though, is it? People look. Yeah, I always give trades in VIP from when I enter. I I never do gold though. I'm not doing gold for anyone. <laughs> gold or indexes. I'm strongly strict on that. Uh, because gold is just one of those ones. Gold is the gold. I give out trade analysis for free, and I've done that for from day. And I've even given out signals on gold as well, where I've literally said, enter now, no problem. But any of the currency pairs, every single currency pair in the VIP, you will get an entry, a stop loss, and a take profit. And if I'm managing to make percentage on all of my prop firm accounts, everybody else has an opportunity to as well. If you can't get in at the time I've done it, again, I'm sorry, but I can't trade for everyone. I can only trade for myself. And <laughs> you've got to follow suit. If you want to follow suit, you can follow suit. I can't basically make sure that you're awake when the market decides to break four hour structure in our direction. There's nothing you can do. So again, you see everybody in fear of this reversing. All it's done so far is gone to the one hour supply. You've got to... <laughs> Yeah, you got you got to chill, people. You got to chill sometimes. You know, everyone's like, it's reversing. That's why I say it's a disaster. It's not a disaster. You understand? Yeah, this is why I'm doing the. This is why I do the prop accounts where people can. You know, I say this all the time, people. I make services not just so I can make money off the people. No, it's because I understand people can't trade all the time. So the social trader one, that is just we're flipping and we're seeing how what we can do. We're not going to be compounding. We're just going to put money in account, flip, withdraw, flip, withdraw. That's all we're trying to do. Then you've got the prop firm account, which I'll take over a period of time for you. And I'll be growing an account. You don't have to touch it. And then when the account is passed, we do a 50-50 split. This is what we do. But again, if you haven't got the time, you know, then don't focus on trading. Focus on working, making money from work, withdraw the money from work and invest. Whether you invest with me or you invest into housing or whatever else you're going to do, you're going to invest into something. So it's up to you what you do. But you might as well focus more on work and then you can invest into one of these services and then I will do the work for you. Do you understand? Like literally, it's that simple. And obviously my gain from that is 50%. Very transparent. I'm not going to hide it. Nobody's out here to work for free. You know what I mean? I'm not standing on the corner selling my body. So <laughs> please be boys. You know, it's that simple. Let's keep it simple and we move on. So, yeah, look here, boom, again, these are zones that were drawn up from exactly what was said. All gold has done is gone to retest the one-hour supply for a sell. So anybody that was panicky, there you go. Hasn't done anything yet. If we go to a 15-minute chart again, you go here, and you can start to break the process down even more. So if gold breaks this level here on a 15-minute chart, you learn all of this as well. There's Even if you want to learn all of this yourself and you don't want me to trade for you or anything, you can book one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. I'll teach you all of this stuff. You understand? It's the same difference. You can just do that. Look, there's a one-hour, uh, sorry, a 15-minute 
bearish break of structure here if this happens which will make another 15 minute supply on this candle this candle here and then this candle here if it breaks that level you get it right there so we just have to see what happens but obviously i don't want to make the chart too messy because people think what's going on I don't understand it john I don't understand but yeah it could break 15 minute structure down at these lows over here basically right here so you just have to see if you go to a five minute chart let's see what it's doing uh we went five minute bullish here with this break here so right now technically this is a five minute demand but let's just see so really you want to see if it breaks this low if it breaks this low again we're definitely pushing more to the downside than the upside it pushes one more yeah this is all it is people you just gotta follow the process man it's not hard just follow the process but yeah you gotta not panic as well guys and girls because there's people saying it's buying it's buying. <laughs> it didn't do anything it's not panicking not panicking when you're in these trades please yeah if if you're if you're ever panicking in a trade, that means you're in too much. Uh, your your lot size is too big. That's what it is. It means you need to learn how to lower your risk. That's what it is. All right then. All right, I'm gonna leave it there, people. Cause it's one hour. I don't want the zoom to obviously be like two hours long. One hour, I think, is more than enough. Obviously, we don't know if it's going to go on to win or go on to lose, but how it's setting up, it looks like it wants to sell more than it wants to buy. I'm sure you can all see the type of pattern it's formed. I did give us our entry, which was technically actually from here, not even from down here. When I told people the buy side liquidity it's going for, and that is why I had my pending order, the lot size, the 0 0.46, you see me enter, was here my sell limit. So um, yeah, we'll take it from there, guys and girls, and see what happens. No problem at all, man. Yeah, that's no problem at all. That's no problem at all. Obviously, it can't happen all the time, but yeah, we'll take it. I definitely wouldn't be able to do these during the day if I'm in my uh, two, two million worth of proper count trades and I'm watching them. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I need to focus, but I've, like I said, I haven't taken a trade, so that's why. No problem at all, man. Hopefully, some people have made some money from that quick gold sell or the continuation of this gold sell. But it's not really doing anything right right now. So, you know, unless we sit here and wait for the next hour, maybe at three o'clock, which is in 35 minutes, it might do something. It, usually New York can move at that time as well. So, yeah, we just got to see people. But we leave it there, guys and girls. Have a nice one. And message me if you want any services from me or anything like that. I'll speak to you later. Peace out.